um, a lot of guys, you know, they say it's my story like a Cinderella story. But in my whole life, I've been a uh, diehard Falcon fan. It's my whole family. So when I actually started playing football, my first position was quarterback, you know. So, yeah, I always just wanted to be like Mike. Boyle up in the pocket, trying to slip it back, and it's intercepted. Picked off and headed for the end zone as D. Alford. My cousin uh, introduced me to football. Uh, I started playing like around age seven, uh, park rec uh, in Griffin, Georgia. Me choosing to play at Tusculum, I'll say uh, Coach Jerry Odom. He's still the head coach there now. Um, at the time, he was with Jacksonville University, a small D1 school. He reached out to me from there. Um, and right before signing day, I, I checked his social media and he changed the team logo. And I, it was Tusculum University. He gave me a call and wanted me to follow him and do what I did. I just wanted to go where I wanted the most. Just going to D2, you know, you gotta obviously, you know, just work hard. You know, it's a small school, so you wanna stand out no matter what. And it made me, you know, play with a chip on my shoulder that I wanna be better, you know, better than the Power Five, better than the D1, AA, those type of guys. And, and it just, just helped me, you know, just play physical, play fast, and just a mindset thing mentally. Dan and Fattis, the general manager of the Winnipeg Blue Bombers, uh, reached out to my agent. And during that time, I was talking to a few NFL teams, and you know, I want to say one day I just woke up and boom, you know, the pandemic happened, COVID-19, and all my pro days and stuff got canceled. But I did have the opportunity to go ahead and sign to Winnipeg and do what I did. So yeah, they came and found me off of my film, actually. CFL in particular is one that I've always, you know, liked to track just because it, it you know, it is, it's a, a game that you can find some, some skill up there. Once I, you know, uh, uh, set a goal for myself, I'm going to do whatever to achieve it. So, yeah, there never was a, a moment that I felt like hanging it up. These tapes are really easy to watch. Um, you know, it, it, he jumps off the tape in terms of twitch and quicks and speed and all the things that you see, ball skills, instinct. Me going to the CFL, man, it just, like, I just went in with a purpose and a goal that I'm going to find a way to get back down south to the NFL. Coach says it all the time, and Terry says it all the time. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where they play, what division in college. It doesn't matter what league they're in. If, they, if we think they're good and they, they match the makeup that we're looking for in terms of football character, um, then we're going we're gonna to give them an opportunity. But as soon as we got him in here for a workout, and uh, he, he did the same thing in our workout. You know, the feet, the quicks, the speed, the, you know, it was, all, it was all natural. Like I said earlier, I just come in with a chip on my shoulder just to, just to be the greatest. And I'm still chasing greatness to this day. It's how D's wired, you know. Um, he's feisty, competitive. Came in here and gained, I think, 12 pounds, 13 pounds in a couple of months, and he uh, just keeps keeps getting better and better. And he's got to continue to do that. It's just crazy, man. And it's just like a dream come true. I would feel with excitement. Um, obviously, I talked to a lot of teams, but I already knew, like, I'm, I want to come home and, and play for the home organization. And, and you know, God made it happen for me, and I'm thankful and blessed. It played out in my favor. Like once again, I'm, I'm so thankful. You know, I'm ready to continue to, you know, to impact the, you know, the defense and this organization in a great way. I still haven't had the time to just let it soak all in. You know, I just got the mindset to just continue to get better.